is Kate back again with another fun STEAM lesson for you. Today I have two super easy fun activities that you can do at home with different household items that involve designing. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the first activity I have for you guys today is called the Spaghetti Tower Marshmallow Challenge. And here are the different supplies that you're gonna need for that. Alrighty, starting off with supplies, you're going to need a regular piece of paper. This can be any type of paper, notebook paper. This is just regular old computer paper works just as well. And you're also going to need some writing utensils. I have here some markers, but you can also use crayons or pencils, anything just to write with. And then you are going to need 20 strands of dry spaghetti noodles. You can probably find this in your pantry at home. Um, if not, you can find them really cheap at the grocery store, but 20 strands of dry spaghetti noodles. And with that, you are also going to need one large marshmallow. And these are gonna be your supplies for your tower. And to help you out with your supplies, you are also going to need some masking tape. And if you don't have masking tape at home, any type of tape works just as well. Scotch tape, duct tape, any type you got at home. And that is gonna be your supplies you are going to need for this challenge. Alrighty, let's get started. So before we begin, I want you guys to think about an architect. An architect is someone that designs buildings. Um, when an architect begins designing their buildings, there are a lot of factors that they have to keep in mind and consider. Things such as height, materials, the airflow of the building, and many more. They have to make sure that they can build a structure that can withhold and stand up on its own, right? So for this activity, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be designing your own structure using your spaghetti noodles, your tape, and your marshmallow. And the goal of your structure is to use these materials and create a structure that can hold up your marshmallow. And it may sound easy, but it might be a little trickier than you think. So you have to make a structure that can hold the marshmallow on its own. Okay, so the first step of this project is you are going to design out your structure. So think about your materials you're using, which is just your tape, your spaghetti, and your marshmallow. And go ahead and take your piece of paper and your writing utensils and just spend the next couple minutes sketching out some different ideas you have or um, some different ways that you think you can make your material stronger because your spaghetti noodles are not super strong and it needs to be able to hold up your marshmallow, okay? So think about how you can maybe make them sturdier, maybe tape some of them together, um, or use your tape in a creative way also. Um, just really try to be as creative and imaginative as possible. That is really the goal of this activity is just to expand your creativity and ideas on different ways that you can design structures. Uh, maybe think about also different ways that you can place the spaghetti noodles in different shapes that might be a little stronger, um, either in like a triangle form or maybe a square. Um, really just try to be as creative as possible. Okay, so for this next step, what you're gonna have to do is either ask a parent or a sibling, or maybe if you have a phone or device that has a timer on it, go ahead and get that timer ready and set it for 15 minutes, because this is a challenge after all. So you're only gonna have 15 minutes to build your structure. So go ahead when you're ready, start the timer and begin building your structure. And remember, it has to be strong enough to stand on its own and hold the support of the marshmallow. So go ahead, good luck. Remember, be as creative as possible and see if your structure can stand up on its own. is up so go ahead and step away from your structure and see if it can do its job of standing on its own and holding up the weight of that marshmallow so I also made a structure during that time and this is it I used three strands of spaghetti 
um, as the tall legs of my tower and I use kind of a spiderweb technique up here uh, to suspend my marshmallow and even made a little pyramid top for it to uh, kind of make it a little more sturdy. So what I want you to do now is make sure to present your awesome work. Um, so go ahead and talk about your tower with a parent or a sibling or maybe even take a picture of it and send it to a friend and talk about the different strategies that you use to make your awesome tower and talk about maybe was this challenge a little harder than you expected. I know I certainly found it a little challenging using those fragile spaghetti noodles, but did you have to change your design? Often a lot of times architects or designers have to go through a lot of different multiple designs um, before they find one that actually works well for what they're trying to do. Um, so that is A-OK, -okay, but maybe talk about the different ways that you had to adapt during those 15 minutes from your original design. Um, but just make sure to present it and show off your work and maybe even brainstorm some new ideas about how you could add to your creation. Um, if there are different ways that you, if you had 10 more spaghetti noodles, could you make it taller or could you make it a little more sturdy? Now you can also do this challenge with either a parent or a sibling or maybe even video call a friend and have a challenge to see who can create the tallest structure. So really just have fun with it and make sure to be creative and really come up with those unique designs and different ways that you can build those awesome structures. activity here for you in this video and the purpose of this activity really is just to get your creative and imaginative juices flowing and thinking about design and the prompt for this is you are going to be designing your very own theme park and this is the perfect prompt because it really tests your creativity so for this activity um, you're going to be taking household items all around you so any items it's gonna be 10 items and you're going to imagine them as if they were components of your dream theme park. And you have to use your resources and find creative purposes and components for how to creatively use these objects in your park. So let's get started. Alrighty, so let's get started. So for the first step, you're going to list out all the different components that go into making a super fun theme park. And this can be any type of theme park. It can be one that you've gone to in the past and think about all the different components that you've went to and really enjoyed there. Or can this can be a completely imaginative new one that you've come up on your own. It could be think it could be all about your favorite superheroes or your favorite animal or maybe a favorite activity that you like to do, but make it into a really cool big theme park. And then what I want you to do is I want you to think about the different components that would go into making that theme park. So does your theme park have rides? Is it a water park? Does it have different pools? Is it all about different snack stations that you enjoy at different theme parks? Is there different fun components in it? Um, I want you to think and brainstorm everything that you can think of that would go into making this um, theme park. And that also includes realistic stuff. So you can come up with super crazy fun rides and roller coasters in your theme park, but I want you to also think about the kind of things that your customers are gonna need when they attend this theme park. So things like restrooms, water fountains, make sure to include those shady areas because is it a summer theme park? Is it a winter theme park? Are you gonna need to have warming stations because if it's going to be cold outside your customers are going to need somewhere to go inside and get warm or is it going to be really hot outside in your theme park where are those shady areas that your customers can go and rock center so go ahead and grab a piece of paper and sketch out or make a list of all the different components that go into your dream theme park and plan on what it would contain and how kind of the layout of your theme park would work. So go ahead and do that and maybe spend about five minutes just planning and designing your dream theme park and then we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, for the next step, you're going to collect different materials around your house that you're going to use to symbolize different components of your theme park. So this might sound a little weird, but promise it will make sense. You're gonna take the next five minutes and collect 10 different items from around your house. And this can be anything. This can be different toys, pens, markers, books, pillows, blankets, um, maybe even different food items like fruit snacks or something like that. Anything you have in your house that your parents don't mind you using, make sure you don't take anything that they're using or you know you're not supposed to play with. Just any 10 random items that you have maybe in your room 
and I want you to collect them. And what those are gonna be is from those items, that is what you're going to be building your theme park out of. You're gonna make your own little diorama of your theme park. So you're gonna have to get creative with the uh, these items and they're just supposed to symbolize different components that you want to go into your theme park. So go ahead and take those five minutes and collect your items now. Alrighty, so for the next activity, what you're gonna do is you are also gonna set a timer for this activity for 15 minutes. So once again, if you either have like a device that you can set a timer on or maybe ask a parent or a sibling if they can set a timer for 15 minutes. Now during that 15 minutes, go ahead and think about that dream design that you just did in your first step. And what you're gonna do is you're going to think about how you can symbolize that layout of your design using these items that you just collected. So obviously it's not going to be as elaborate as your design, but that is okay. Um, you're just kind of symbolizing different ways and also using your imagination to maybe think of a different design um, and how you can add these items into it and make it into a fun, different spin on your design. So get super creative and use your imagination for sure about these designs. So maybe think about ways you can incorporate a pen and symbolize it as a diving board or use a blanket and pretend that that is your pool and just really kind of get creative and think about different ways that you can use these objects um, to symbolize your dream theme park and the different components that have to go into it. So go ahead and when you're ready, start that timer and begin making and designing your layout of your dream theme park using those 10 items that you found. Alrighty guys, great job. Um, so I hope you have your finished diorama project now. Um, so now what I want you to do is I want you to present your park to someone again, or if you don't have anyone around you that you can present it to, um, go ahead and write down an explanation for yourself. Um, just kind of reflect on what you made and how you use those items in a creative way to add to your park. And I want you to also think about the different components of your park that you like, or maybe a different one that you want to add. Maybe think about the materials that you would use in your dream theme park compared to the ones that you used um, to kind of symbolize them. Um, maybe think about the different components about like where would this park be located at? Would you want it near a beach? Would you rather have it um, kind of in a park or something like that? Um, also think about maybe what your main attraction to your theme park is and kind of how would you draw in customers to your theme park? Great job with this activity and using your imagination and being really creative. Um, creativity and design really go hand in hand. So make sure if you have free time, another fun activity just to keep designing different things. And maybe design a different way that you could build your dream bedroom or your dream house or maybe even create a really crazy dog house for your pet dog and maybe make those designs and make sure to just keep designing and being super creative and using your imagination. So great job with your activities today, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. So thank you. Bye.